Casual bartenders, what's going on? I'm Mike Kaz, coming back to show you guys how to make yet again another syrup. And this one actually happens to be one of my favorites. It's ginger syrup! Ah! Uh, for this one, you're actually gonna need uh, another piece of equipment, a juicer. It's good to actually buy a juicer, start getting healthy, everybody's juicing now any days. Any anyway, so. <clears throat> this one's gonna need a juicer. You can do this with a blender, but just know if you're gonna use a blender that you need to get something called a super bag or a lot of pieces of cheesecloth just to, um, to be able to strain out all of the ginger juice. Because uh, there'll be a lot of pulp, there'll be a lot of just pith, and really, you don't want that in the ginger syrup. To make the ginger syrup, you're gonna do a four to two to one ratio. So the first thing that we do is peel the ginger. The first time I ever did this, I started with a peeler. Like, you know, one of these guys right here, a little Y-shaped peeler. I got made fun of for doing that. They came up and they said that this is gonna take you forever. How do you get, how do you get around those little bumps and those little nubs like this one right here? And I said, very carefully. Well, he said, put that down. So I did, I put it down and he handed me something a little bit more primitive, um, a spoon. I just looked at him, I was like, what are you doing? He goes, Try this. Honestly, once you scrape with a spoon, it'll be a lot faster. Uh, plus, you're not gonna, you know, peel off your knuckles either in the process. So, first thing we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're gonna juice our uh, fresh ginger, and then after that, you want to actually weigh out the ginger. Like I said, that the ratio is four to two to one. So when you have your ginger juice, you're gonna weigh it out. Again, we're using our trusty little digital scale. And uh, when you get that number for how much or how many grams the ginger juice is, you're gonna times that by two. Once you times that by two, that gives you your four. And that's gonna be how much uh, evaporated cane sugar you're gonna be adding to it. Now, when you wanna get the water, so you take that same number again, the, the, the however many grams that the ginger juice you got, you're gonna take that and then you're gonna divide it in half. And that's how much water you're gonna add. So it's a four to two to one. Four, two, ginger one water. Cool. All right. Let's get to making it. First thing we have to do, that's right. Let's tear. Figured it out. It's actually tear. That's the right way to say the word. That T-A-R-E. We got to make sure that this is set to zero. So we'll turn it on. Put your cup right on top. 29 grams and tear. Zero. Perfect. All right. Now, time to juice. Whoop. So we got that on. Put that all the way up to the celery setting. Put your cup underneath the jelly mug. Now this is okay because not a lot actually came out. Part of it I'm pretty sure is um, the dial that we had it on, a lot of it's going to be found in the pulp. So I'm just going to take some of that pulp out and squeeze it right in. And then we can actually strain it right back into one of these things. Oh yeah, that's some juicy pulp! Oh, it feels so gross. <laughs> Alright, where is my strainer? Strainer's over here. Hang on one second! Like I said, you don't want to get any of this fiber or anything into the juice. But look at all that. What a waste. How much ginger juice. Alright, so we're gonna turn this guy on. Come on, digital scale. And I'm actually just gonna do this again just to make sure. Yep, see? Since I had to turn it on again, I'm gonna hit the tear button. Get it back to zero. Bam, zero. Okay. Now we know the weight is accounted for. This is 126 grams of uh, ginger juice. So what do we need? We need 252 grams of sugar. And find 252 grams of sugar. I'm one off! Okay, one more. Ha, okay, there, okay, good. All right, 
It says 253. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is what we're gonna do. Here we go. Yeah. 253. Still not enough. 252! My dentist is gonna hate me for that. Alright, so we got 252. Oh man. Woo! So 126. That's how much uh, ginger juice we had. So now what do we do? How do we find the water? Do you guys remember? You divide it in half. So how much is half of 126? Where's my phone? I have to do this out. What is that? 63. Thank you. I'm so happy that there are people behind this camera. All right. How many is that? 63 you said? Okay, so we're gonna look for 63 grams of water. So we're gonna, we're gonna take our cold filtered water and find 63 grams. BAM! 63! Alright. Time to mix it all. So you're gonna take each of these ingredients and pretty much just pour them one into the next. So I'll just dump everything into the ginger one. It makes it a lot easier. Here's your sugar and your water. And much like the simple syrup, it's the same exact process. You're just gonna start to immerse and blend it until it's all nice and liquefied and actually fully, uh, fully blended. Ready? Emulsified. So make sure to check the side. Again, it's, like I said, it's like uh, the simple syrup. You're gonna see a lot of those little granules of sugar floating around. Just make sure to just keep going at it until you don't really see that anymore. They're very, very fine. All right. I'm gonna call it. I think that's pretty good. You're not, you're not gonna obviously get all of the granules out, but the best you can, get them as small as you can and try to mix it up as, really, like I said, as best you can. Grab our funnel again. And in it goes. And there you have your ginger syrup. Very simple, very easy, and very delicious. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching. Please do take the time, go out, get a juicer. Um, there are a lot out there on the market. Uh, they can go anywhere from $60 up to even $300 for the nicer ones, the Omegas. Omega, if you're listening, I want one. Anyway, I hope to see you guys this Thursday. Uh, be sure to try and make the cocktail. Um, we're going to be making the Moscow Mule this Thursday, so be sure to make that with us. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Blueberry Bagel!